Hey guys, this is David from Ast of Crafters, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my own auto farm. This is for wheat, and it can be tiered to any height and can be expanded as wide as you need it to be. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make a new world for it. I'll call it Auto Farm world change game mode to creative uh, turn structures off and make it super flat and there's going to be no mods for this I'm just going to go in straight with vanilla minecraft so create new world wait for my world to load up in this episode I'm going to start off by making the base for the auto farm so it will be the first basically the first Y level I don't think I'll have much time to do anything else so for each line of crops you want to you're gonna have you need to start off with a two a one by two hole just like this get a bucket of water if I can find it in my creative inventory here there it is and put it there. Now put, only put it in one block. I'll show you why later. But <clears throat> if you put it in two blocks, it's not going to. Well, the stuff from upper tiers and the upper tiers are not going to come down properly, and you won't be able to collect it all. So now I need a stone hole or any hole. I'll keep that bucket of water for later. And I'm going to go eight across from the side where the water is going down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'm going to go ahead and create another hole and put the water in. Whoops. Misclick. Go back down and get another bucket. And put that there. So that's what you're going to do for each row. I personally like four rows. So I'm going to do that right now. Until you've got something that looks like that. Then go along here, put it there and there. Then get the stone hole and just hole all the way. Right, next thing you're going to want to do is make a path down one side where all the hold land is. So just like this. This will be the path you use to uh, plant your seeds. I'm just going to fill it up there to make it look nicer. Now I'm going to go ahead and plant these seeds for now. So where does the seed go? There they are. Keep that for later. And just place them all. I will bone meal these when it comes to showing you the auto farm in action. Right. Oh, one more row to do. Okay, so there's the base done. That's where all the seeds are going. Go away, slime. No one wants you. Go, go. Stay away from my farm. Now we're going to build a row of all around it, just like so. Stay away, slimes. You're not wanted here. And you want to leave this side open, I think. Can't quite remember. I change it slightly every time for some reason. Hopefully I'll do it half decent. Right, so... Oh wait. Right, I need to take this out. I knew there was a reason I had that wall in there. So you're going to have to put a wall in here. And that will be explained later. So, hmm, I know what I'll do. Delete this. 
Oops, that was meant to happen. Get rid of that and just all the way across. And you can put one there, one there, and one there. You can also go ahead and fill this up. The water is on that water is only for hydrating this side of the crops. This water hydrates and collects. Right, so now that we've got that done, get the slime away from my farm. On okay, on this side we're going to oops fill up another row and do the same down this side as well. So that's two tiers and then you want to do it here also and there. That's just for protecting water flow and stuff. Right, we need to let me whoa I'm going away for some reason. Right, I'm going to add some stairs if I can find them. Stone stairs. Oh, that's why I was going so fast. I was wondering there where I was going so fast. Turns out I was in creative. Well, I know I'm in creative, but I was in the little flying mode. So I'm just jumping up and placing these stairs so that the water will not flow on this block when it comes from there, but it will still allow you to safely sneak down onto your crops so that you don't pick, run over them and make them, you know, pop out. So, now that that's done, I don't have much time left, so I'll just build one row here. And then go like that. A second row. And I'll delete this and add in the. Oh, I've got stairs. The stairs. So, that's the base done. This is what your auto farm will be like on the lower tier. You can add more uh, rows. Not. I treat this as columns. No, I treat this as rows. One, two, three, four. And I treat the eight as columns. Just for future reference. Uh, that will be the four rows. So the four rows can be expanded into five, six, seven, eight, whatever. I just use four rows because it's easier to plant all the seeds from up here because you can reach all the way up to that one just like that and you don't even have to go into the soil. Although it can be handy to do sometimes, that's why the stairs are there. Right, so I'm going to end this video now, so that's the end of part one. Part two will be exploring how to make the collection point and how to make this probably start on the second tier. Okay, so if you like this video, press the like button. If you if you want to leave a comment, feel free to do so. I'm always open to ideas on how to improve my uh, auto farm, especially seeing as I pretty much came up with most of it myself, although it was inspired by a friend's one. And if you want to watch more videos by me or my best mate Ben, who is Twinkielicker69, uh, just subscribe to the channel. That's Astiff Crafters. There should be a link up in the top left, just above the video. Right, so this is David signing off.